All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre, Bizarre Adventure, Adventure. Part 3, Episode, episode 14. 14. <laughs> They've All right. dealt with the car stand. Yes, and they've left him in quite the meditative state. <laughs> That's right. A, a very satisfying conclusion to an annoying stand. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, one, one of the stands of just wacky, ridiculous, over-the-top yep. you know, side of things. Um, but I like that JoJo's goes that route uh, and owns it. That route. Um, Yes, I, I was. That was an intentional pun. Yes, yes. Uh, speaking of roots, uh, they might be having a little bit of an issue with that. Uh, they are still on their way mm -hmm. to Egypt. Yeah, but uh, it'll be just a question of whether or not they'll uh, get misdirected again. Yes, yeah. yes. A lot of things could go wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, the five of them all being together mm. essentially could mean that. We're due for maybe like some more kind of character development. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. we could get like a little in between episode of just antics or something. It doesn't right. need to be a stand. I think I think we're gonna consistently get stand users Probably. against them and stuff. But I would like another one that had maybe a combination of some character development with a stand user that sure you know, it doesn't need to be through. the whole episode. Right, it carries through multiple episodes. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't need to be all self-contained and stuff. All right. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be cool, so without further ado, let's get into it. Clothing store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Has to be cool about Just it. like, that's a lot of money. What did he actually get? I don't know. It looked like his outfit was exactly the same. Yeah. Are they in an airfield? They're not letting her go on the plane. <laughs> I don't have Quit running away and run away. <laughs> What'd you call me? Grandpa. Oh, they're giving her a flight back. Okay. Cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Oh my gosh, with the music. <laughs> yeah, while well, he does the slow walk, looking yeah. down, all brooding. Uh, yeah, I'm too cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, these shots, they're just, they're just too much. And he just looks away. One of these days, we're actually going to find out what it was that he bought at that clothing store. Is a new chain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this one's too small. I need yeah. a bigger one. Oh, wow. You're getting better at this. <laughs> yes, no little jump. I'm so hyped. If only JoJo's could pull off 3D animation in an anime and make it look so amazing. Yes! Get down. I'm ready. Are you ready, guys? I don't think so. Vision Sampound! Alright, here goes. Oh, I ran out of breath. It's gonna be like, ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna hit that microphone. <laughs> ah, going to Pakistan. Yes. Yes. Oh, just this part one. Wait. <laughs> 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 Won't that mean it'll shrink if it gets wet? Yeah. <laughs> That's smart. It does have a decent toilet. <laughs> He's right. so traumatized. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nani? 
Wow, a dog's corpse? I couldn't even notice that. He has uh, Star Platinum's uh, precise vision. Exactly. Yeah. Holy crap. Restaurant in English. Yeah. Oh, a lot of. Exactly. <gasps> oh no, is he gonna be like, he's actually gonna say something racist? I think he said it wrong. Yeah, it's that's probably right, but the way he pronounced it yes. is probably just yep, so close. completely wrong. No. <laughs> that quick turn around. That quick turn was so good. Oh. Um, uh. Keep driving. Keep driving. Yeah, he looks dead. Uh -huh. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Nani! Indeed! With pure horror! <laughs> you just noticed. And if there's still smoke, that means it was very recently. Yeah, they did, they were gunshot. Yeah. Uh, they have some kind of leprosy. Oh, bad acne. Oh, crap. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> yeah, this might be a, a town where people are stuck here because it's like a, you know, leprous, like a leper colony or something. Colony. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Whoa. Uh, okay. All right, that's new. Whoa! Oh my god, right, this cool. is awesome. Whoa. Cool. So they just didn't see what happened in the sky? I think that might have been symbolic. See how it's kind of graded out? Like, uh, sure. Like a 10 yen coin! しかしなぜ血が流れてないんだこんなに深く出けえ穴が開いてるんだろうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう
Oh crap, she's gonna play this game. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Alright. Right. But, it could, it, but it can't be the old woman because her shoulder span width is too uh, exactly. Yeah. It, off screen, did they tell her their name? Because yeah, that that would have immediately uh -huh. given her away. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> All right, Double O Seven films. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're lying. Yeah. <sighs> the way she's throwing bits of comedy in there is really great. She doesn't you have to. She does not, no. Yes, good! Okay. Thank you! Thank you! She's like, crap, Freudian slip. Yeah, where did you hear that name? She's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing so well, too. Yeah. I appreciate the customer service bit, but. <laughs> She can't reveal that she also has um, two, uh, two, two right hands. No, two, two right hands. hands yeah. <laughs> Good grief, Polar! Cut it off! <laughs> oh, dang it. Wonderful. <laughs> ah, new person. Is this whole horse? Don't tell me there's... It's whole horse, isn't it? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I like bringing back recurring characters. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So she's thinking like, I'll hold them here, not take them on myself, but... Oh. Same thing in trouble of tracking you down. Yeah, I think she's gonna kill him because... Uh -huh. <laughs> Why did you let him die? <laughs> yeah, sure we were. Sob, sob. Uh huh. She's faking it, and he's faking it. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Oh, scissors. Why don't you? Why didn't you kill her? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, run. When dude. he actually helps them, yeah, I could see that because that could be for his own survival, you know. Right. <laughs> but this can also be the way that they build her up as yeah, a yeah. threat, you know? Oh. Oh, crap. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh! Probably not a good idea to summon it with your own hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Justice has triumphed. And Polnareff gets the bright idea of, I'm gonna go check it out on my own. Well, it probably didn't sound like a gunshot. <laughs> oh, okay. Jotaro. Yeah, come on. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's great. We brought Enya up. We yeah. brought the whole. We brought whole horse the back. Whole, and vengeance, the vengeance. The got... vengeance thing of you know, vengeance and stuff. So right. right. Uh huh. But um, with Enya being there and her stand being this extremely overpowered type of stand. Yeah. Meaning I, I that really like it. it doesn't even seem to appear until. You know, until Omayo Hamushin. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But that means that there's probably almost no way to kill the stand. Uh, the stand sure, is but, probably nigh invulnerable, but but the stand Enya, user can be attacked. But exactly. the thing is, is that the fog ob obfuscates, you know, her uh, from, right. Yep. From uh, mm -hmm. well, it obfuscates the enemies from right. seeing her, and then um, keeps. Um, Walk like an Egyptian. Yeah, it keeps her generally protected, can kind of cover her mm -hmm. from, like, all kinds of other stuff. Oh, and yeah. All right. Uh, she makes her appearance. And she is extremely creepy, like we thought she would be. Yep. But also, she's actually really strong, mm -hmm. but she seems fallible in all the right ways. Mm -hmm. Like, right. she's the kind of character who, one, is not physically intimidating. Uh, like, yes. all the other stand users have right. been thus far. Exactly. All the way down to the gorilla. Like, yeah. and then there's then there's also the fact that um, she is confident in her abilities, but she's also because she's so emotionally invested in this fight, she right. lets it get the better of her. Mm -hmm. If she had just gotten whole horse to help her and then yep. killed him afterwards, yep. exactly, that would have gone much better for her. Much better. She could have emotionally manipulated him too in the way that she was doing, mm -hmm. and yep. had that been. Uh, a way for Whole Horse to be obligated to fight them. Right. Also, it could have been another way for her to be on their side even more if Whole Horse uh, was sure. thrown under the bus intentionally yep, yep. as like, oh, ah. he goes to attack them. And she could have told him about like that too, the idea that like, okay, they don't know that I'm a stand user right now, so you're going to attack them. And then while they're distracted with you, I'm going to come up behind him and kill him. Yeah. Right. And then she just doesn't. Right. And then she just doesn't. That could have been her vengeance against Whole yeah. Horse. Right. Is that Jotaro's Star Platinum just pulverizes the crap out of yeah. Um, yeah. Whole yep. Horse, and they're like, "You're the one that did the uh, did right. the uh, you know the gunshot things on the way there." And then suddenly sure. there she's she's like, "Oh no, it wasn't me!" And they're like, "Nunny," and then just. <laughs> whole right. horse dies from justice mm -hmm. and then you know she attacks them right and then she could have potentially she could have potentially manipulated whole horse so that uh she's still controlling where he's shooting his gun and stuff with her stand while keeping whole horse alive for a little bit because mm -hmm. because she but he would to, be able to speak then um yes well well she could have done that he later, have basically well like, i know but he would he would have revealed Enya at that point uh yes yes but, so so yeah. i think i think that the fact that she killed whole horse makes perfect sense because mm -hmm. as a mother as someone who loved right. jay guile she's like oh no no no, yeah, you're, no. you're dead you're dead you failed right. you 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 abandoned my son you mm -hmm. let my son die Right. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no coming back for you. This is the kind of thing that she has for every other member of the Joe Bros squad, mm -hmm. except Polnareff, because <laughs> for Polnareff, <laughs> it's something special. She's for got. Polnareff. She has something specific. In mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. oh my gosh! Oh, uh, that was that was really funny. And that also makes me really excited for this next episode, since Polnareff mm -hmm. is the one that's off by himself, right? That's means well, not really. Well, not really. Come on, Jake. Right, right. They didn't make him completely off by himself, which is good because. But they made it. They basically set it up so that he's the one that is most likely to get attacked first, right? Especially since she wants to kill him, right? But they've also set it up that she might do it, even though it's not like the sneakiest of like situations because they were there and being like hey what's going on down there i don't see this being any other anything more than like they're going to draw polnareff in for a fight but eventually it's going to be a five on one and i think uh, right. that's that's yeah. how it's going to be uh right and they and what i'm saying is they sorry a four on one or yeah four on one yeah. but the the way they can make it so that um so that maybe enya tried to make it be a four on one but then or a one-on-one -on -one, but then didn't end up 
pulling that off was because she was so emotionally compromised by the fact that right. this is Polnareff and she wants to avenge her son. So right. it's like that's a that's a cool way to basically make it so that the villain can still try to do the the smart thing in the situation and what we've come to expect episode by episode, but then still have that not work and get the four on one way like we want to see. Uh, yeah, but they're right there, Jacob. Well, yeah. So I don't see how she could fight Ponareth now. Well, she won't necessarily fight him immediately. But anyway, well, point okay, is, okay. Yeah. I I think that it would be it would be very surprising if they didn't fight immediately. Mm -hmm. I think that one of the most terrifying things about Enya is the idea that they have no way to really gather uh, information on how to defeat her stand without her telling them. Because uh, sure. her stand being the fog itself, mm -hmm. it occupies the entire town. She just has right. to fade. You can't in. avoid it. Yeah. yeah. She just has to fade into the town mm -hmm. and just, just start disappear. messing with them. Yep. In, in a like, lot of ways, like... Well, okay. Her if stand is the perfect one to do a 4v1 on. Right. Because she's not actually going to be against them. Yep. She's going to be attacking them from mm -hmm. the shadows, from I guess the fog. The, the one, maybe maybe the weakness, if anything, of her stand is that they have to start bleeding for the fog to start attacking them. Um, Because it sucks the blood out, and then it makes the hole, and then from there it can control them, right? Well, okay. That's possible in that it makes it easier for it to control them, but it itself is a stand. It can still do things. It's probably sure. It's probably able, at the very least, to do the thing like it did, making them think that the car was here when it wasn't, and it almost oh, stabbed yeah. Joseph yeah. into the fence. You know the the, the right. spiked fence. Yeah, that, that, yeah. This, so that's the kind of thing where uh -huh. you're like, we don't actually know what the limits of this stand are. Well, and especially that's since, just one of its techniques potentially. Right. And the and the whole thing of the spiked fence. Like the, now that we know what Enya stand can really do, that whole spiked fence thing was a way more dangerous situation. Oh, than way, they more. Because way more. Way more. Trying to create. If holes. it had just nicked him, right? Mm -hmm. Then suddenly, whoop, Joseph's dead. Uh, well, yeah, Joseph would be controlled, and, and therefore then she could do whatever, after, probably do whatever she wanted with yeah. him. Yeah. Wow. That's actually an interesting point. If she goes after Joseph first, was it because he separated himself from the group and made him go into a very kind of dangerous, precarious situation? Or was it because actually Joseph is the only person that could blow her cover before she decides to reveal herself? Um, oh, because of the, the because whole... Because of... No, because of Hermit Purple. Right. Um, yeah, probably. probably. It could also be because he was the one that suggested, you know what, let's leave. Because he, he was the one who suggested Yes, that, right? that's true. That's true. Um, and then I guess she was like, ah, they're going to leave. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, keep I, I can't here. let that happen. Yeah. Right. So I'm really glad. I'm really glad my favorite part in this episode in terms of just, just things that happened was... Ah, Mr. Joestar's son. Yes, this yeah. way. And I was like, did they tell her their uh -huh. name off screen? Because that would be really weird. Right. And then JoJo's jo jo like, like, hey, ma'am, lady. Or yeah. old, I think he said, hey, old woman or old right. lady or something. Like, very, very disrespectful. Old hag or whatever. Or yeah. something. He's just yeah. like, we did, you just said Joestar. None of us said that. I was just like, oh, yes, <laughs> And good. she's like, Ugh. She's just like, Ugh. Did I seriously just screw this up? And then she's like, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> And she totally played it off in, in a pro manner. It was it was very pro, mm -hmm. but I just gotta say, if Jotaro has that like keen of senses, right. like I think Star Platinum gives him mm -hmm. somewhat of an ability to be extremely precise with how he notices things. Because you notice when they were that. driving, and he's just like, "Is that the, is that the corpse That's of a, a dead dog? dog?" Yeah, yeah, that. That kind of like precision and stuff seems more like Star Platinum's traits, possibly, than actually Jotaro's. Yeah. But we haven't talked about this. Is there the potential in that the stand's abilities have an effect on the user's abilities? Maybe as I mean, a person. Well, like okay, think about like uh, the because Polnareff. it's an avatar of themselves, right, of right. their spirit. You For Polnareff with Silver Chariot, there has to okay. Silver Chariot can like slice bullets in half and things like that, right? right. That's not something that a translates human, that, over uh, that easily. translates over yeah. to a human. But at the same time, hmm. Polnareff is able to have the stand do things that he wants it to do, even if he can't right. actually think. All right, slice that bullet in half. Slice that bullet in half. You know. So on some level, yes, because they need to be able to 
wordlessly communicate right. what their stand needs to do. Unless their stands have like the amount the of independent like, will. The, yeah, to exactly do those to kinds be able to do that that sort of stuff. I think that's also the kind of thing that Iraqi just it's not important. Right. Like, yeah. It stands and it's cool. Exactly. But but here's the thing that I think mm-hmm. this is really important is that stand users can see stands, right? Yeah. Like that's a thing that uh-huh. if I'm a stand user and you had a stand, I would right. be able to see it. Mm-hmm. Why can I see it? Even though I'm not a stand, I think it's because the stand that I have is giving me the ability to see other stands. Uh, sure. Which now, is literally an example of what I'm talking about here. And what's funny, what's mm-hmm. funny, is that if they had simply brought the girl along, <laughs> she would have been like, "Fog? What fog? What are you talking That's about?" That's true. Oh and then my they would have been gosh! Like, wait, huh? You don't wait. Fog? You don't see a fog? Yes. She'd be like, yeah, it's like, what? It's clear as day. Why are we stopping? Wow. They'd be like, wow. <laughs> we definitely shouldn't go into that town. Oh my you know? gosh, that's so true. <laughs> that's so true. So that- really, they should keep. They should keep a non-stand user with them at all times. Right. So that if they ever see something that they don't see, they're like, uh oh, this is it. This is a stand. Right. Um, problem solved. Yeah, you could have essentially Jotaro and her being some kind of dynamic duo where Which Jotaro is like mine. precisely. Well, I think she would appreciate a little bit more than Jotaro. Jotaro did Jotaro. seem to kind of miss that Jotaro. she was gone. Jotaro is too much of a Teenage Mutant Edgelord uh, dress star <laughs> to, um, to admit it. But there, there is something we need to remember, guys. Even though he looks ridiculous, he is 17. 17. So, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's that's true. But, okay, but that's that's a thing though. Uh-huh. A non-stand user can be really helpful because they will see things right that other people mm-hmm. but they won't see things that other people will. Right. Which means you can know, you know, extrapolate what mm-hmm. is connected to a stand and what isn't. Right. And while that might not hold up for things like say the stand that possesses the car or the stand or that's the a stand part that's of the boat. On jo- Joseph's arm. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Um, but for that, certain ones it, it for certain ones does. It's, it'd be very helpful like this one. Right. So um that's another thing though that um is just a is just a thing that keeps getting brought up is that uh, stand users mm-hmm. can't attack stands. Like stands have to do battle with each other. That's right. a that's a yeah, very yeah. that's a very specific thing. And that they but up, yeah. stands can attack users. Uh, right. So mm-hmm. so you know we extrapolate from that that the stand uh, users um, ascent. Well, sorry, my brain my brain farted for just a second there. My point was that if stands can manipulate the environment and other people. Basically, uh-huh. they can do things like that. Right. You could have a stand that manip- manipulates, this is getting into the idea we had of a really powerful stance, mm-hmm. reality manipulation, that manipulates some aspect of reality while not embodying it themselves. Okay. So this stand might utilize the fog might kick up wind and create oh, but it might not this, actually be it the might fog. not actually be the fog of, and that would that would explain a lot of things because if they it, okay so one of the things that we haven't really seen stands do a whole lot is fundamentally different kinds of abilities right like like within the same stand within the same stand right, right? like hierophant green can do the the emerald, s- emerald splash. splash and things yeah. like that um but but we don't really see that much different kinds of stuff. Probably the best example was actually with Hierophant and Green of the of the drawing and you know the yeah. blood and all that stuff. They didn't I think really that might have been for that. dramatic effect. That but might have also been for dramatic the uh, the possessing of the person. Uh, right, right, exactly. Just going into them, and and yeah. we haven't really seen that kind of stuff since then until now with the whole illusion type stuff that the fog has mm-hmm. been doing, and then so, also doing the whole whole thing the whole thing right and if it was oh my gosh it was whole one, horse whole whole horse whole got, horse got a hole yeah and with two holes now and that's also one of those things where it's like oh whole horse man if you if you were just two percent rule just a little bit smarter, a little bit about smarter. This, you would have just <laughs> summoned the pistol in your other hand and then yeah. bang she's dead i mean the bullet is a lot slower than a regular bullet they brought that up back when. Was that because um, it's being manipulated? It's a stand. It's not firing the same speed as a 
usual bullet. It's extremely uh, fast. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's but extremely still, fast. But still, but... you know, because Enya is vulnerable. Because the, the yeah. her strategy when she fights, you know, the Joe Bros is probably going to be stay quiet, stay in the fog, let the fog do its thing. Yeah. You know, but since she was right there, if he had just summoned it in his left right. hand she, or she, whatever. She took a huge risk going through this. And this Ooh, is what yeah. I like about her character is one that when we've when we've seen her with Dio in the past, mm -hmm. she's built up to us as being someone that wise has, sage. has knowledge, yeah. but she's the twisted mm -hmm. hag wise sage. You right. know, she's not the um, she's not the healthy wise sage, the one yeah. that will give you like good, mm -hmm. like wholesome wisdom. She's the one that's like, if you wish to destroy your enemies, you must summon the dark powers. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know that kind right. of. That kind of character. Yeah. So when we see her like this, having like real human emotion that makes her less hag and more human, even though it's on the psycho end, it's of on the, the psycho end of things. Yeah. It's like, oh, right, she is a human being. Mm -hmm. All stand users, except for ape guy, whatever, right, you know, are human beings, mm -hmm. and they have you know all the things that humans go through and stuff. So uh, Enya might be the kind of person that once they defeat her, she breaks down emotionally because she has nothing. She can't have her vengeance. Sure. She can't have her son back. Yeah. She might reveal to them things about Dio. Possibly. Like, or, I, I, or at least she'll give the speech of like, just wait till you meet Dio-sama. He will yeah, destroy yeah. you. And then she'll you kill know? herself or something. Sure. I could see that being the case. Like she'll take the scissors and- <laughs> And then her own <laughs> stand and just- <laughs> Yeah. That's a crazy thought. Can a stand be user. ordered to kill its own user, therefore Possibly. kill itself. Would a stand reject the order because that would mean it's killing itself? Oh. Because the stand... I don't know. I guess that, it might depend on the mental that, stability the good, of the they stand. They do call them stand, like, masters sometime, right? Like, they do they ever call them stand masters? They call them stand users. I think most of the time it's stand users, but that... I mm. think I'm... that might, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think it's stand user, yeah. I don't know where I got that might just be a translation thing. Like, yeah, that might know. have been a translation thing. Okay, because we had different subtitles a while back. Right. Um, okay, so what that could also mean is we could come to a point where a stand has shown to be independent will from its user, like the, would, like the ape and the boat. You know. Uh, sure. Kind of. Yeah. That, kind that would of. be pretty crazy. All right. So that's a lot of random speculation. Uh -huh. Um. I think the big thing that we get from this episode is that we're building up to a really good fight. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they had her kill whole horse. Like, yes, yes, like, that was even very though it, cool. It wasn't the smartest thing to do. It was, it was interesting. It was awesome. It was a great way to exposit the stand and what it can do mm -hmm. outside of the fight. That yep. way, when we go into the fight, even though they don't know what it does, we know, we know what it yep. does. And it's, it's also a clever writing thing to have in fighting amongst the villains, the villains, right. quote unquote, because. Um, it shows that their motivations are human. It shows exactly. that they're not just there to stop to be on this binary side of the moral scale, you know, yeah. and just be like, ah, we are bad guys, right? And you almost feel bad for for Whole Horse because, yeah, as a guy goes, yeah, he was kind of a dick, but like but he would have he, he would have helped he her had out. Personality. He would have tried to make things right, you and know, he, and he would have helped her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he had might have abandoned her if things went south, but you know. <laughs> He would have tried. He he was also one of the more unique kind of yes. protagonist looking. Right. Um, he did have a lot of personality to him. And, yeah. And he he looked that. almost like someone that could be in the Joe, Joe Bro squad. Right. Yeah. I would I, I actually. Would've, I would not have been too surprised if he had basically been like, "Help! I'll help you kill her. Just save me." Right. I, I wouldn't. I would not have been surprised if the second part of this uh, little story was. A uh, whole horse surviving somehow and being like, Just as you help me! <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> she gets grabbed and drags him out. Right. And this could end up actually, now that I think about it, this next episode could be very, like, horror Ooh. element themed, uh -huh. where Enya's like, My cover's blown crap. They heard. And right. Scream, and then it's just, down. you won't escape this house alive. Yes, you know? and then it's basically the town from right. hell. They're just trying to find their jeep and get yep. out. Like, what if well, they don't actually have the ability to defeat Enya? Sure, and it's just like, a runaway. Or maybe Jotaro is like, oh, it's obviously Enya. And they're like, oh, you know. It's like, well, she, you know, it's all, right. it, it lines up, guys. You all are stupid. And they're like, no, it couldn't possibly be Enya. Then whole horse comes crawling out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets dragged back yeah. in or something. Yeah, I like, like those types of stories mm -hmm. where they realize how campy this type of story uh -huh. can be. 
but they just own it and right. bring and and bring in this case their own unique element into it in this case the jojo's bizarre right. adventure element one of the things that would okay now they don't have to do this like 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 you said cuz whole horse totally could be dead but at the same time this is jojo's so right. you know a shot yeah. through the head does it does it really kill them um but but that would be really interesting shot through the head kills people jacob <laughs> decapitated heads kill people too but in jojo's you know whatever they need to happen happens but if they did have it where they end up basically needing to work to help save Whole Horse or defend him from Enya or work together to defeat Enya, yeah. that could be really interesting from the standpoint. And again, I don't really think they're going to do it. But if they did, that would be very interesting because sure. he helped kill Abdul. Yeah, that's a good point. Also, um, you made a, you brought up a good point. Whole Horse is technically not died on the what constitutes a death for JoJo's. Because he just punched his own mouth into the back of his throat. So if anything, his jaw is broken and he vomited out uh, blood right. and, and just stuff. Because After that, of she the... did have him shoot him. So. Oh, but you're yeah. right. Yeah. Now he's dead. He's dead. Because yeah. <laughs> if they go with the whole thing of like, uh -huh. ah, but you see, it merely grazed his skull. I'm going to have to question every single like, no, they can did just... he die when he got killed? No, they can just do that. His, his brains got blown out, but now in his dying moments, because it will take at least five or six minutes to die after his brains have been blown out, you know, he continues to fight. Logic. Jojo's. Jojo's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I guess, I guess I could roll with that if they don't, if they, if they stay consistent at right. least. I mean, we've seen decapitated, flowing, sentient head with tentacle powers, so... But there's a difference between your brains being destroyed and the head being cut off. We've seen people, like, people in real life have had living right. moments. Yeah, the whole blinking th for 30 seconds after yeah, their yeah. head was cut off. Yeah. Exactly. And that's muscle, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, but, you know, just in shock, but... Yeah. Still, that's more plausible, in my opinion, than your brain being destroyed by a high-speed metal, you know, yeah. bullet. Yeah. I, Probably. I don't know. Probably. But again, this is JoJo's. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. And I think, I think the main thing that they'll stay consistent with is that if there's a reason for them to not die when they get killed, it will always be related to their stand. At least in this part of the sure. story now. And that's something that I'm excited for when we get into, like, really crazy stand users more like Enya in a way right. yeah like ones that have power to manipulate some aspect of reality mm -hmm. like any kind of thing that you know we haven't had a regenerating person like say say we have a stand user where the stand stands back and just heals the person sure and it's like a typical like or the stand know, rpg is... kind of setting and they just keep regenerating and they have like right. You know, maybe it's a really bad Wolverine reference, and they're just ah, they're just attacking with claws and stuff, and they're just like, so why don't we just kill that wimpy little stand over there that's fighting something? No, we must give him an honorable duel. And, and then Kakyo and Emerald Splash and just stands dead, and then and he just falls into a yeah. group of guts. And yeah, that's and there's and so many different ways th they could do this. There are but so many different ways. We're, we're, we're losing track of the the episode as a whole, <laughs> and that's kind of my fault with this whole discussion thing. But well, I mean, it was kind of a build up episode to like, all right, then in the next episode, that's when the fight will actually that's happen. True. All right, guys. Well, if you want to watch the, that next episode's reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us about stories or wacky stand ideas or whatever. And if that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, resemblance is sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. We'll see you all next time.